and all. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, get his ass but, right now for the sentence to <laughs> But on the strength of it, I was like, you know, in my mind, I'm like, you know, all this shit going on, you know, everybody got this snitching thing, you know, backwards. To me, uh, uh, snitching it ain't gray, man. It's black and white. Anytime you sit down with the police and do some, some shit, like conversate, point somebody out, and that's ratting, my, my nigga. That's ratting point blank, period. Now, I mean, look, though, hold on, I don't want to cut you off, but like the paperwork for Reddit, did you confirm it's real? Yeah, it's, like, it's, I, it's yeah it got uh, street, uh, street certified, just did a thing on it. I sent him. I seen, I seen him, he shouted you out and shit. So he, yeah. he, he got the work from the website and shit. Bro, it's FOI. It can't. It, I sent you the link with the uh, the doc, all that shit. Okay. It came straight from the uh, Cook County website. I definitely it seen the no link. As a matter of fact, let me let me see, cause I ain't I ain't click it, but I seen that shit. Yeah, it's it, it's legit, bro. It's straight legit. That's everything right there. Hundred and twenty nine pages. That wood, food. This ain't in the wood, man. I wish I had. I do got some woods. I'm using these though. Loose leaves. I need. Cause who said here. his damn self? Uh, you can go find it on there. So when he said it in that no jumper interview, I remembered that. So I was like, huh? So I just typed in the Dominique Barnes murder case and all that shit popped up. But you see, the thing everybody's getting confused right now is bruh bruh's statement. Now I was talking to somebody on my uh in my DM about it, and if you read through the thing, his name ain't blacked out twice, but it can be interpreted like bruh bruh That's giving his statement. Now, so look, why would why would they black out his name all through the document and then forget to black it out? You know, at that well, part. Well, my understanding, this case is from two thousand and nine, and it's something about a juvenile. So unless bro, bro was a juvenile in two thousand and nine, that I don't know if that paperwork. But on on the bottom of it, it shows the date. It said uh the uh, two thousand fifteen. So they must have went back, re-interviewed him or some or somebody. So that's why you be sad. Like black and white, not gray. Like no, ain't no. You can't be going up the gray area. Because the, yeah, look like gray. It. You know the gray thing. Because my thing is this, man. Like niggas I, I, and down was rumors. You know. Well, well, the gray to me is when people be like, oh, yellow snitch, but this motherfucker ain't snitch, but they all did the same damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you sit down with somebody and you identify pictures or you talking to the police about any damn thing. That that is that's telling, bro. Like, and and my thing is, when you ask for the lawyer right after you make a statement, you knew in your mind you said too much. You, I mean, come on, when you go in there, I mean, that's something they preach all the time. Ask for a lawyer. Ask for a lawyer. But when 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 they get in there and start asking you questions, you think you smarter than the police, and that's how you get yourself caught up in some shit. So you know, based off of based off of what you read with the paperwork, like, what's your uh? interpretation of everything like and my my interpretation honestly is zoop said too much like he should have just he i mean let's be honest he probably already knew something about what was going on when they got him what he say all he had all he had to say was let me get the fucking lawyer what he but i feel say, like go ahead what what did he say like it's, it's confirmed like some because I, I i know you sent me this shit but you seen how i struggle reading it basically what he said was zoo was like they they brought him in there and they asked him some questions. He identifies some people in a, in some picture that was either with him or whatever the case was, and he got the and he got, got to talk to him about these pictures and shit. And then they started asking him specifically about the murder, and that's when he was like, "I need a lawyer." So before that, he, he you know he pointing out pictures, these people in these pictures and shit. Now I don't, I don't know, you know, everybody's so damn back and forth with this snitch and shit. You know, some people gonna say he didn't say nothing, other people gonna say he did. So what was you know when he was pointing them out in the pictures, like what what was that what was that about? Like, basically identifying, I think, who he was with or who they were. Like an or, alibi type thing, or like they did it type thing. That's the thing. A lot of that shit's blacked out. You can't really see a, a lot of what he was saying because it's blacked out, but so much of it. The part that you can see is him saying, this is this person, this is that person, and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, some people might take that as snitching. He'll say, might... go out, go out, he'll say without fact. Now, he sent me the link, gang. Like, the thing is, this shit this shit in my DM, like, the work right yeah, here. Yeah, that's, that the right link, there, that's bro. The link to it here. I just, I haven't got the red, so I'm asking him, you know, what what was his interpretation of I'm still going to do my own thing. It's, it's a Dominic full murder right. report. It's like how many pages? It's like a hundred something pages. Yeah, hundred twenty nine. Matter of fact, 
Mickey Troop, man. You know you be doing your shit. I was too, talking man. to Mickey about it too. Mickey was telling me she like at the end of the day, she like grub bruh toe. And you know, a after going back reading through it, you know, part of me like like it, it, if you can't crazy. read that shit, you wouldn't think nothing. You would think probably that, yeah, that's it right there. I'll see all these pages, man. If you didn't know what you was looking at, you probably would miss it. Yeah. But when she, I sent it to her, she went back, pointed out on page 121, Claire name on it. And then I got the reading, and then it, it kind of interprets like he was stating something. But right before that, somebody's pointing out uh, Devon Shea with a gun or some shit, saying they seen him with a gun. And I think bro bro said something about that on the video last night. So like it kind of be it, bro bro can be uh, interpreted like he telling something, but it's so damn wishy washy because whoever wrote that shit looked like they got elementary handwriting. Like, like I wrote that shit. If y'all say my handwriting, man. <laughs> hey Mickey, I don't know if you want to join in. I don't know if you want to leave Chicago content alone because you was you you know you was she went through it last time she covered Chicago content. She What's up, guys? Yo. Ah, well, I thought you? they, I thought they scared you from Chicago content, man. Yo. Hell no. <laughs> KB, what's that word? Hey, how coming? Shit, man, we we talking about this bruh bruh interview, and really no, like this. Man. this you said what? You pants, man. We need to get out. Oh, okay, we 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 gonna do it. We gonna do it real real soon too. I'm a. We supposed to been dead for real for real. Yeah. yeah. What I'm gonna say, we ain't even really got to do the. You know, we can do like like a little. You know. We gonna chop it up. Yeah. Oh no. You say these are, these dudes so that's it. But yeah. see the thing the thing with the basil um conversation or the statement is that they were asking questions about the neighborhood. Like, hey, do you you know what I'm saying? Are you familiar with this person from your neighborhood and all that? Once it got to the actual situation, he asked for a lawyer. Um, so it wasn't like he was pointing people out to say, oh, yeah, that person is part of the crime or that person. They just like, are you familiar with such and such? Because now, mind you, at least two of them took the stand on them on that murder case. No, she right about that. She right. You say two people took the stand? Yeah. No, I don't know. That's probably, that's probably the people that, no. uh, that bro bro talking about. Yeah, the gu Gunner and uh, the other one. I can't remember the name. It's either Marty head. or Campbell. So, like, with that case, you know, um, a lot of people like, well, he pointed people out. And see, it's not like he pointed people out to say, oh, yeah, he was with me at the time of the crime or something like that. KD. He was answering the question about the neighborhood right. shit. The neighborhood shit as far as, like, where people from, where people be at, shit like that? No, Basically, just yeah. like, yo, are you you from this area? Uh, and I'm, I can't remember verbatim the actual question, but it's like, are you familiar with this person? from this area type thing. It wasn't like, oh, did this person go with you on a leak or some shit like that? Uh, it's, it's just like, do you yeah. know these niggas? But, yeah. But that's, that's where me and her kind of disagree that in a sense, because I was trying to explain to her like- Hey, so you feel like he a rat though? Or what's y'all, what's like, what is it? I mean, I Man, don't. See, this is the thing though. It, it depends on where you come from in the streets. If you come from, you ain't supposed to talk to the police at all, then you can interpret that as you doing so that, too much talking. See, so the see, same shit yellow did, I don't, right? I don't look at that's, it like... That's the like, same shit yellow did or yellow did it worse. See, this is nah, the thing, bro. See, the bro the a lot of niggas don't be liking yellow stuff, so they gonna... They, they just yellow gave too much info. They gonna, they, gonna, they gonna go in on yellow more than a lot of other people, for real. But I feel like a lot of niggas, bro, certain, certain things they do, it be like, I right, it probably wasn't the best decision, but it's like, you, you know a nigga intentions ain't to rap, or you know a nigga ain't on no real, you know... <laughs> So it's like I think people need to separate the difference from like, cause you know when you when you on the streets and you young and you coming up, bro, you're not gonna know everything. Like you you not gonna know everything. You might actually fuck up, but that don't mean that this nigga is a rat at heart or you know his intentions was to get somebody sent to jail. It's like you might have fucked up and that was like, alright, that was a close one. Just you know, don't. Man, I you know, was young as hell when E. Wallen did that shit. I could have read it too, gang. That shit ain't no excuse. You, I was you didn't have to. Before. That shit was on camera. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> don't, folks. A lot of shit been on camera niggas read it, folks. But niggas like some some shit, you just got to know what I'm saying. Take it hard. I mean, some shit went on camera. Okay. still ain't But that's good, different. That's locked up. situation, that gang. Every, if you would have told, it's like everybody in the world would know that's talent. That's niche. It's different when you want some tricky shit and they ask you some shit that you think innocent. And in reality, it didn't get nobody booked, but it could have. You know, it's like it's it's just 
when people young gang, it's you know niggas gotta bump their head sometimes at a young age to learn this shit. People don't just be born with a fucking street dictionary in their head where they know all the rules. Niggas hopping this shit too young let with this, no big homies teach them this Chicago, shit. Chicago, hey, let, let all let all us Chicago motherfuckers tell this shit. We was born with this shit. We already knew the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, like, you, you you know, you be born with a lot. Not born, but you born into a lot of shit around you, but you still not going to know every single thing. You not going to, some niggas not going to know. It's best just to not say nothing. Like, because if you get snatched up and you really didn't do nothing, and your head like, I, I can answer these questions. I don't got <laughs> nothing to do with nothing. Real quick. No, 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 no. Everybody, mama and parents, whatever, when you was younger, used to tell you, don't come out here telling on your brother and sister. Don't come out here telling me about this, that, and the third. Don't do none of that. We all was told that as kids, man. Shut the fuck up. Stop telling. Nowadays. Hey, Katie, I'm going to bring you back. King AK got something to say. Nowadays, everybody <laughs> and whatever, man. Like, they just. Like, that's why I say it's okay. doing like, this. if you go to man, LA. Oh, that's that, 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 that shit, nigga. Biggie. Hey, Biggie, man. You better than that. Man, that nigga zoo, nigga. They, they got you for a murder, nigga. They putting pictures all in front of you. You like, yeah, that's him. And his hood name is him, nigga. That's Sally, nigga. That's Ray. Hold on, what hood name he gave? Bitch, you hold on now. I, I okay, you ready? Video. He, he, he gave his hood name. 106 hey, he gave the name. Hey, okay, okay, I'm gonna ask you though. Is you is you on that? Cause y'all just y'all ain't fucking with each other, or you or you or you for real like this? I mean, that's a part real. of it too. <laughs> but God damn it. <laughs> hey, look though, God damn dog. Cause keep it a hundred. He'll call a nigga a rat for that. Put it like real, he will call the nigga. If that was a GD that. or something, everybody would have said the nigga was right. If that was yellow, anybody one day to say that was yellow, was yellow yeah, yeah, bro, right. yellow did the same thing he did, bro. They offered information, dude. They sat papers down. He, this is a murder investigation. This nigga zoo, man, you don't supposed to say nothing when you in there. Cool, we gonna hold you to your to your standard. This nigga, they put pictures in front of him. Do you know him? So, so yeah, according to his paper, what, what, what y'all saying is what brother saying holding up when, when he said something like he, he ain't lying. Hey, no, they no, ratted on no, Zoo no, though. That's a lie. Hey, hold on, hold on. They ratted on Zoo. Hey, somebody, not no alibi. somebody made a video like last night or something, and I think it was Street News. He said brother was in jail and like gave up, like did uh put four cases on people for four guns or some shit after he was locked up. So regardless I, if he told in this or not. The man is in some other shit. So, I mean, it's not like just because you want you, like, either way, if you did or didn't tell him this, bro, you want some other shit. So, what's the, no, what's the bro, situation? Bro, hold on, on we, finna, we, finna do a, we finna do a part two to this interview, so I want to be able bro, to ask him about it. So, bro, bro, hold on, him, on like, It say it clear as day. They forgot to redact the yeah, yeah. It say clear. Yeah. It say Kivon, Kivon, yeah. clear. He, what happened was they told on Zoo. Zoo never he implicated he nobody in no murder or nothing. Longer. But he volunteered and identified niggas. That's all I'm gonna say. I think I, I think oh, Bro so told in 2009. Trouble. He didn't think it was gonna come back in 2015. Hey, so hey, when, Mickey, I'm gonna bring you right back. It's, it's somebody okay. else that, that wanna join. Okay. All right. Let me see. I just interviewed him. This Chuck. He hey, maybe I'll check out his interview when that dropped too. Cause this this this. This 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 interview I like. He ain't really chased a lot of a lot of shit. He he just was speaking some real shit, mm, bro. Yo, yo, what's up, gang? What's that word? What's the word? word? So you been you been seeing all that shit? Yeah, I've been seeing this shit, man. You do you know like any more like ins insight on that shit? I know you've been locked up and been around a lot of motherfuckers. I mean, she. You know, bro and Zoo was around each other, you feel me? So whatever difference they had, they could have settled that shit in person, bro. You know? Somebody like in jail? Yeah. Yeah, bro, bro, did you say they was on deck together? Oh, they was, so they, they actually was cool, or they, or they just most so was just, like, annoying each other type shit? See, they was, they was talking, they was around each other, but shit, it's like I told you, bro, like, Zoo said he told Zoo told he got the paperwork, so it's like, shit, show the paperwork, no? Because everybody be saying everything with everybody, but shit, if you got the paperwork, show the paperwork, bro. Yeah, oh, like, because that be the I, 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 I thing, history. like, but and, see, the thing like, be, like I told you, bro, a lot of these niggas be out here telling, niggas be embracing these niggas, niggas be fucking with these niggas, you know? It's real. Well, what's your definition of telling, bro? Ooh. What's your definition of, of telling? Is it anything 
that revolves around you sitting down making a statement or, or are you just supposed to shut the fuck up going in the, the room period man you supposed to shut the fuck up look bro i just did 12 and a half when i was in there as soon as i went to interrogation room man they trying to talk to me man i want my lawyer I ain't say not a word. They showing me pictures. You know, this person, I don't know nobody. I'm not a man that knows nobody. I'm not saying, oh, yeah, that's who. Because that's what they ask you. Also, is this who? They ask them the nickname. You're agreeing to the nickname. Now they know. But at the same time, look at all the shit these niggas doing on the internet, bro. You know, that's telling. Niggas out, out on the internet, they talking about murders. They doing this. But a lot of niggas be telling on themselves, though. Shit, L.A. going through the same thing right now. They all on the blog saying street business and shit. <laughs> They was trying to say Big Sad or something. Told well, well, Big Sad got on no jumper with his paperwork, and then they they went back and read it, and then that's when they came back like a day or two later saying that DW and Brick said they believe he snitched. That's because I think he came with some appeal paperwork. Everything, <laughs> listen, bro. Everything is public record. All you gotta do is go to FOIA, bro, with the police department, file whoever name you're looking for. Just add, just request that shit. So when everybody be talking about some, they went in there, they kept it real, and all this and that. Bro, niggas don't be keeping it real in that interrogation room, bro. A lot of niggas be folding. A lot of niggas be talking, bro. It's just that it don't never make it to trial. Like, so many niggas told the interrogation room, got to trial, but didn't tell them they rap you. So niggas be holding that shit back. But a lot of yeah. these niggas be tell, bro. But see, these niggas be making these rats famous and relevant because they entertain them. They respond to them, you know? Yo, who does that just join? What's that word? You ain't gonna say nothing for I'm gonna get three seconds. Oh, shit. Hello, folks. You about three, three seconds. I was playing the game. <laughs> he got it out of his cell. Fuck it. I'm trying to add everybody. But yeah, hell though, a for, that's what niggas got to do. That's how you challenge niggas, bro. Tell them niggas get them interrogation room videos and see what niggas really say, you know? Yeah. I just requested my shit. I'm posting my shit because I ain't say nothing. I ain't got nothing to say, bro. See, I, I was just I'm in jail for seven, seven six this. years, you know? I'm about to say videos speak a lot better than words than, than handwriting any fucking way. You, you can't yeah. deny a video take. Uh, you, you can't deny a video. You know what's so crazy again? I just seen a video come out and a nigga say I don't got no paperwork. I'm a nigga. He was on video. What, what you mean? Like, <laughs> what more do we got to see? Is you saying because they didn't use this shit or something? It ain't official? Like, you you tried to get it used? Right. It'd it be, it be some niggas that tell, and the police don't even want the information. Um, bro, they are just good looking, but you still go to jail. <laughs> no, for real, though. Right. But it's a lot of niggas getting put away. It's a lot of niggas getting put away, and niggas be letting these niggas back in the hood, though, you know? It's so yeah, yeah. many niggas, bro. It just, I think like, it'd be based off of, like, who who, who who people like type shit, or who people scared of, shit like that, who they fit, because they definitely pick and choose out here with a lot of shit. Right. You say this shit bigger than Nino Brown. Shout out Street <laughs> News TV. I just seen your video, too. It's right. crazy. All, all these videos coming out. Around the same time this interview finna drop, it's like I ain't even know all this shit was going on. I ain't even know they was already going back and forth. None of that shit. Yeah, but shit, you see, you see, bro, this how this shit be, bro. Like the streets didn't change so much. Like I've been gone twelve and a half, so the streets didn't change so much, bro. Like when, when you when you when you, when you, when you first got street, booked, the streets what? changed so much, be swell because it was like this, bro. When I was out, bro. You snitch, a motherfucker getting on your ass, bro. A motherfucker spank you. Ain't no motherfucker allowing you back in or nothing, bro. Like, even your own guys, ain't none of that, bro. You feel me? When niggas was telling on niggas, niggas stand on niggas. Hey, boy, go make that shit right. Now, nah, bro. niggas tell myself, you want me to make it right, you got to pay me. <laughs> and they homie and them be cool with that shit. You know? <laughs> like, how the, fuck, how, how the fuck you tell myself, pay you? What the fuck I got to pay you? For the shit you one pose to do. <laughs> Hey, hey, K, I'm trying to add you. I don't know if it's it, letting. If nigga, you get a request. Niggas be scared to expose niggas, bro. Yeah. That be the problem. What the fuck you were scared to expose a rap for? What you holding the rap for? They be feeling like, oh, they be feeling like, oh, shit, he ain't telling on the gas. He told on the ops. What you think he going to do to y'all? Well, a lot of that is motherfuckers scared of their reputations. See, I ain't really in the business of exposing niggas, but since I have a platform, I'm not stopping niggas from coming in saying what nah, they got to say. It, it, just okay. what I told you, bro. The shit, bro, 
The shit bro finna say, bro, it, it's exposing a lot of shit because bro not finna be scared to speak up on a lot of shit the other niggas scared to speak up on, you know? For sure. So now it come out because a lot of people gonna start defending themselves. A lot of people gonna start stepping up and be like, shit, all right, this and that, this and that. What you say, no, no, like, I don't, I don't think Zoo told. I never, I never know nothing about who Zoo put away, bro. I can't speak I on no name. I'm if I don't see black, listen, bro, let me tell you about this shit, right? And this is how jail is, bro. In jail, everybody be saying, everybody telling on each other. Why? Because when you in jail, bro, and you doing your thing, you going on visits, you got commissary, you got hoes, you getting Nigga pictures. Face. But niggas will try to slander your name and tell on you, bro. I mean, to say you telling, bro, and that's not even the case. Everybody be talking about everybody telling. You always want to put the real niggas out there. Expose the real niggas that he is telling, you know? Mm, bro. bro. I'm about to say, somebody just said something about... Right. And it's just what beat down music saying, bro. That is what it is, bro. Niggas is giving rats a platform to speak on, bro. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and say Zoo put nobody away either because that's not what – that ain't got a hell no, I ain't going to say that. That's doing too, that, that's going too far with it. I ain't seen that. But in my opinion, just based off of, you know, the statement, if we if we going off of don't say nothing to the police, he said too much. That, what did, to me, that's – What did Zoo what did Zoo say to the police? He just basically got on there, got in there and said, started pointing uh, certain people out when they showed him some pictures. So rather he identified them to basically say – you know, I know them or uh, this who I be around, whatever the case is. Like, my my point of it is, you know, and I ain't got no dog in it. I'm not even from Chicago. I just was a, uh, just looking at the shit and posted it. But my whole thing is, like, from where I, how we came up, from where I'm from, if you go in there saying any damn thing, bro, you telling something, you hot. When they call you hot, nigga, you, you, what is you talking for? Just shut the fuck up, you know, and, and go to the damn cell. That's, that's simple. Right. That's all I'm saying. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say he put somebody away because I don't know that. I don't know that man from a can of paint. Right. But I feel but like just, a lot of just niggas like do. Zeus said, though, Zeus said it. Like, y'all talking about I told on the motherfucker, where's the paperwork at? This this the thing, though. I feel like a lot of niggas, though, they got they do got to be held up to their own standards, though, because it's, it's a lot of niggas in certain situations. If a motherfucker just said, uh, yeah, I was with him last night. It's some niggas that'll be like, oh, you a rat. You shouldn't have said nothing at all, right? Oh, what they alibi but, is. Right. You, but then, like. You don't, you don't pose to say that, though. But then niggas will get in that same situation, and then they then they start to understand. Then they be like, oh, I ain't put nobody in jail. I ain't, I ain't got no, uh, you know? So it'll be like, nobody, everybody be agreeing with that. You say anything, you a rat, until they come up saying something. And then it's like, well, who I put in jail? What? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so, like, I feel like niggas need to be held to the standards that they hold other people to, also. That's a fact. I mean, if you're going around saying, when you uh, when you go into an interrogation room, you don't say shit, but ask for your lawyer, and you say that's what you do, and then we see some paperwork that say you gave even a, a two a two sentence, that, that goes against what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, I mean, what, what, what the fuck? I mean, what is your word at that point? Like, me, I honestly don't believe anything you say is, is snitching. I just feel like it's not a good idea, like, at all, you know? But I mean, especially because I feel, I feel like if you a nigga that say anything you say is snitching, then you should be held to anything you say is snitching. Because right. not not talking ain't even some just some street shit game. Your lawyer would tell you just don't talk. Like that's just better for you not to do. Like that don't you don't got to be a street nigga to not talk. It's just smart. Mm. Like it's it's in your favor to not say nothing. Shit, the mm. lawyer don't even let you talk in the courtroom, nigga. So why the hell you talking in the interrogation room? <laughs> Bro. I remember I was younger, and I'm in the car room. And they, I want to talk so bad and say some shit. Cause the shit they saying, but they just basically tell me don't show no emotions. Just let it rock. We got this. Cause they, yeah, for July like I tell you, like I just had 76 years. You feel me? He ain't tell to get home. I stayed in that law library. I stayed in them books. But that's how the fuck I got up out of jail. And that's how you supposed to get up out of jail, bro. We all playing the same motherfucking game. But when shit get real, niggas don't play that game no more, bro. Ain't no more city. real niggas. Ain't no more real niggas left out here in this shit for real. These same niggas y'all be seeing on the internet. These niggas don't be taking care of their homies in jail, bro. These niggas in jail fucked up. Niggas be in jail rocking with they ops more than their own niggas, bro. But I feel like a lot of this exposing shit is behind that too, though. Niggas not being taken care of in jail, and niggas is coming out now trying to expose them because they feel like them niggas owe them something. 
But my thing is this. Yeah, they, like, they threw their life away for I'm, that. I'm about that to just say, shit. I was raised that way, man. You made you made that bed, you ain't. I didn't tell you to go out there and do that dumb ass shit. Like, I mean. Yeah, but it's like, like sometimes, like, some, like you. say, say you're a rapping ass nigga, right? A lot of rapping ass niggas be needing niggas around them and niggas be doing shit, protecting all type of shit, gang. It's like, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. You can't just let a nigga sacrifice everything for you to keep you safe and, and keep keep your name in the streets hot. And, mm -hmm. and, and when motherfuckers ask about your hood, they say, yeah, they stand on business. And then when the niggas that stand on business get in a fucked up situation, you just abandon them. Mm -hmm. Like, I get niggas grown men don't just crash out and do anything, but niggas doing this because they feel like these niggas love them, gang. They, these they niggas, these niggas they grew up with, these niggas they got bonds with. That's like, you just let your brother just go commit suicide, basically. He's still alive, but he basically dead. He in jail. Forever. And you rich as hell, not doing shit. That shit bogus as hell. That's, oh. that's like a sacrifice. That sound like some Illuminati human sacrifice shit. No, niggas is real. I mean, if you up my like homie, that. I'm going to take care of you, but... I mean, when we talk about niggas start acting like you owe them something, then that, that's when you lose me. Like, man, what the fuck? If some niggas you if, do if, owe if something. If I'm locked up, if I'm locked up for defending you or protecting you. Or oh, yeah, most definitely. You, yeah, nigga, you do owe me, bro. Definitely. But at the yeah, same time. Cases for you. But at the same time, if I'm out here for this hood, putting on for this hood, and you my boy, and you got the money, nigga, make sure I'm straight. Because if you know I get busy. Nigga, I'm gonna always make sure you straight, you know? Yeah, but now if you ain't my homie, that's you get from the same hood. Back we up with your man page. Like that. That, that's you the know? difference right there though. Like when you doing something like what you just said, man, yes, you owe that nigga. But when you just a nigga in the hood, you who see, I done seen for a while. Yeah. Right. I don't see I don't see his backup page in the views. I see his main page. Right. I say Tay Savage 043 backup. Hey, is it letting y'all send requests? Because the only request I see is from somebody named Raya, Big Raya. And no, don't let her tell, join. Just tell Tay to add it. But that's the thing, though. Like, like niggas, niggas don't be a hundred, bro. And that's what that's what all y'all need to start doing. Like, if y'all know these niggas real rap folk, we shouldn't even do no interviews with them. Cause why get them the chance to, you know? You know, but a lot of niggas that's doing interviews, the streets ain't what they following. So it's just like it's business. Motherfucker try to get money out of that shit. So like. A lot of niggas ain't gonna have the same values, the same feelings that like a nigga like that had been in jail before and got right on the field. Man, niggas told on me, bro, that shit hurt. Because we all playing the same game, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but once you learn, once you learn that shit, then it's like you know better, you do better. Once you see this how niggas behaving out here, then it's like that shit dead at that point. Right. If you play it right, you're gonna lose. Man, that's even though man. even though you even though you came back home and shit, at the end of the day, it's still an L, gang. That's twelve years gone. Yeah. Hell yeah, twelve years. Yeah. Them kids. Hell yeah, I lost out on a lot, bro. That's why I choose to walk away and just live life and continue to free the jail, bro. Because being in these streets, bro, that shit ain't gonna get you nowhere. You know, that shit gonna get you a de dead of jail. And for niggas be acting like they really like that for. When the motherfucker go to jail, bro, niggas don't be like that, bro. Niggas be bitches, bro. Niggas can't handle that shit for real, for real. Niggas break down. Niggas be doing all type of shit. Hey, 16, hit my inbox. I got to go to this birthday party. Uh, all right. If you need me, just hit me. All right, bro. But it's a lot of people saying it won't let them come up. I might have to restart this shit and, and re-add. Uh, Both of y'all. Uh, Tay Savage right there, he said this one. I'm finna, I'm finna try to do it again. Because AK, it ain't letting him up. It ain't letting Tay up. I'm finna restart it. Everybody just come back.